everyone, Amy Richard here. <laughs> Welcome back to Fan Table, where you actually don't need an excuse to drink. Just show up with a cocktail. I've got my gay brother husband here, Brian Davis. I brought along our sister wife, Laura Wendell. Go Browns! Exciting game just last weekend. We were invited to our friend Aaron's house. Laura couldn't make it. I was snowboarding in Big Bear. But we had a great time. She's a Steelers fan. She had a great win, but she also had a great spread, okay? I, I couldn't eat my way through a football game. I'm fine with that. Mac and cheese balls. It was Chocolate great. Chocolate cupcakes. Good times. And truly, that game to us was almost pretty much just like Battle of the Ugly Quarterbacks. What's up, Big Bad Rapey Ben and Joe Flacco? Yeah. Big Bad Rapey Ben with his hyper-color mustache? What's up with that? And with Joe Flacco's facial hair, it looks like his unibrow is trying to eat his face. Oh, my God, yeah. right? Speaking of a game that had a little bit hotter quarterbacks, Packers-Falcons. Uh, and Rodgers. Exactly. Pack showed up big. Huge clinic this week in Atlanta. Now everyone can stop talking about how great the Falcons are, hopefully. You know, though, they, had some, they were running up against some pretty ugly defense, right? Oh, Clay Matthews. I love myself some Clay Matthews. Tag. <laughs> Yeah, she loves to tag Clay Matthews. There's no doubt about that. Clay Matthews certainly showed up to that game. Atlanta right. fans did not. It right? Hurts. What is up? I thought you guys were the loudest, the best ever. Blah. Fourth quarter, I'm seeing a lot of red in that stadium. Yep. It wasn't jerseys, it was seat backs. Exactly. Outside as Packers fans at the games, they got themselves a seat upgrade. Major seat upgrade. All those Packer fans moved down so, and watched the end of that. Shout out to Jim Sprader. He's a New Orleans Saints season ticket holder, but a Packer fan at heart. There you go. He, he made the trip. He got himself a big game, and he got to watch it right from the side of the field. I, I know that entire fourth quarter was like a freebie. Browns fans, what's up with that? It's right? minus 24 degrees and we are all still there? Yeah, and the, and the Falcons fans leave and they're in a dome. Lame. What? Meanwhile, it's Lame. snowing in Chicago. Right? Oh my God, right. And the Bears played the Seahawks. I'm happy Pete Carroll lost. I'm happy Seattle walks away with a losing record of 8-10. and 10. <laughs> And I'm happy they're going to be stop talking about Pete Carroll for nine months. <laughs> as long as doctors don't sell goals, we're going to be talking that about Pete Carroll. Talk about that. Yeah. Um, but we're going to stop talking about the Pats because they lost to the Jets in the giant shock of the weekend. Giant shock makes me want to throw up. <laughs> I don't even know where the passion was. Pats, where were you? What was oh going God. on? That was a mess of a game. You know what? If you're going to try a onside kick, you need to make sure it works. Like, like it's in Super Bowl 44. 44. Or what about this year when the Browns beat the Saints with an onside oh, kick? Oh, touche. Well played, Lord Wendell. Well played. Okay, but the one thing we can all agree on is when the Jets win, we all cheer for LT. You've got two Saints fans and a Brown fan who love some LT. Mad I think mean, there's love. a lot of LT fans out there. Shout out. Let us know if you're a fan of LT and exactly. like to see him do well. How can you not love LT? Man. Mm -mm -mm. He is a good guy. <laughs> we, have, we also have a fan shout out from Chris Wilson in Columbus, mm -hmm. Ohio, and he wants us to talk about what we think of the Browns coaching situation. Tell us, Laura. First off, congrats, Pete Shermer. Good luck. You're going to need it. <laughs> Second thing is, Eric Mangini, I think they cut you too short. You need one more year to prove yourself. But take the footsteps of Bilicek and Schottenheimer. And just understand that everything gets better when you leave Cleveland. <laughs> she didn't work for the okay, Tourism Authority okay. on that one. <laughs> Good point made by Laura Wendell. Um, Brian and I are very excited because our favorite defensive coordinator, Greg Williams, did not even bother to go interview with Denver. He's going to go ahead and stay in New Orleans. He's going to say, smart man to say all that yeah. shit show that he's going to be Denver this year. I mean, now what's up, John Elway? <laughs> How to destroy a franchise 101. What's happening there? It's like, oh my God. Denver is going to be the Cincinnati of this year, I'm telling you. <laughs> that could be true. And as everyone knows, Brett Favre retired again this year. This year, the NFL is requiring return receipt and then sign that contract in ink. <laughs> Maybe it'll stick this time. I don't know if you guys right. saw. I mean, you know what? Actually, he could probably start someplace. Yeah. I, I hear Arizona's looking for a quarterback. I mean, right? <laughs> Sorry, Luke. Shout out to our buddy Luke. <laughs> there you go. Who do you want to be your quarterback, Luke? You tell us. Oh, my God. Cardinals fans. It's got to be rough. Okay. Do you guys see this week, Adrian Peterson showed up at a McDonald's at 3 in the morning in Minneapolis. That it was closed. They let, him, they let him in to use the restroom. Quick poll here, you guys, at Fan Table. If Adrian Peterson wants you to do something at 3 a.m., are you guys going to say yes? Yeah. I know it's going to mm. happen. Absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely. And thanks to our friend Ethan Havener, who totally told us about that story, because I hadn't heard that, and that's a little bit of a gem. We certainly didn't hear about it when we were watching games on CBS this weekend. Oh, God. Oh. Oldie Timing oh, Network. Oh. I hate watching CBS. Here's the thing. All I want, just on the screen, just tell me what down we're at, what, how many yards we have left. Sometimes I get distracted during a game. Amy's feeding me tater tots like they're communion wafers. Sometimes we play church when we're watching football. Just I might depends. have a little bit too much beer. I just need the gentle reminder. You'd think a network with so many old people watching it would be used to gentle <laughs> reminders, but they keep messing it up every time. R.I.P. to the touch by an angel person that died this week, right? Oh, John died. Right. Okay. John died. That's his name. John Thank died. God the Super Bowl is going to be on Fox this year. Exactly, because I'm actually not going to be at the Super Bowl like I was last year, and I have to watch it. At least I don't have to watch CBS, okay? And we're all going to be rooting for the pack from here on out. 
my dad, seven. big Packer fan. Go Pack Go. Our friend Aaron's a Packer fan. Aaron go Pack kid. Go. So come back next week. We have some title games to talk about. I'm Aaron Winter. My Gabriel husband, Brian Davis. And this is Lauren Wendell. And come back for some more fan table. Who did?